A crisis of charisma. The SPD's leadership dilemma. The Social Democratic Party of Germany, or SPD, finds itself at a crossroads. Who will lead the SPD back to its former prominence? Author Julie Zay points to a lack of charisma in the current leadership. This poses a significant obstacle for the SPD. Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Defence Minister Boris Pistorius are experienced but lack charisma. Modern politics demands leaders who can inspire and connect. Without a charismatic leader, the SPD risks fading into the background. The search for a charismatic leader is crucial for the SPD's survival. Yuli Zay, a prominent voice in German literature and public discourse, has levelled a pointed critique at the leadership of the SPD, her own political party. Her central argument revolves around the absence of a charismatic figure at the helm, a leader who can inspire the party faithful and resonate with a wider electorate. Zay's critique highlights a fundamental challenge facing the SPD, the need to connect with voters on an emotional and aspirational level. Zay's critique is not driven by personal animosity towards Schultz or Pistorius. Rather, it stems from a deep concern for the future of the SPD. She acknowledges the experience and competence of the current leadership but argues that these qualities alone are insufficient in the current political climate. Zay believes that the SPD needs a leader who can cut through the noise and offer a message of hope, change and progress. Zay's critique goes beyond simply calling for a more charismatic figurehead. It is a plea for a fundamental shift in the party's approach to leadership and communication. Her critique should be seen as a valuable wake-up call for the SPD, urging the party to reconsider its approach to leadership and to recognise the importance of charisma in contemporary politics. Charisma, often described as an elusive and intangible quality, has long been recognised as a potent force in the realm of leadership, particularly in the sphere of politics. It is the ability to inspire, to captivate and to mobilise others through the sheer force of one's personality and vision. While charisma alone is not a guarantee of success, its presence or absence can significantly impact a leader's ability to connect with followers, build consensus and achieve their goals. Throughout history, charismatic leaders have emerged to shape the course of nations and movements. From the transformative leadership of figures like Mahatma Gandhi and Nelson Mandela to the more controversial legacies of individuals like Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini, the power of charisma to mobilize and inspire is undeniable. In the context of democratic politics, charisma plays a crucial role in shaping public opinion, mobilizing voters and ultimately winning elections. Charismatic leaders possess an innate ability to connect with voters on a personal level, to convey their message in a clear and compelling manner, and to inspire hope and enthusiasm for the future. However, the power of charisma is not without its potential downside. As history shows, it can be misused or manipulated for nefarious purposes. Julie Zay, in her critique of the SPD's leadership, draws a compelling comparison to Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States. Zay points to Harris as an example of a politician who embodies the kind of charisma and dynamism that she believes the SPD currently lacks. Harris, the first female and first person of colour to hold the office of Vice President, has emerged as a prominent figure in American politics, known for her sharp intellect, her advocacy for social justice, and her ability to connect with voters from diverse backgrounds. Zay's comparison between Harris and the SPD's current leadership highlights the stark contrast in communication styles and public personas. 
While Schultz and Pistorius are often perceived as technocratic and reserved, Harris is known for her more engaging and charismatic approach. She is a skilled orator, capable of delivering powerful speeches that resonate with audiences on an emotional level. Moreover, Harris has effectively utilized social media and other platforms to connect with younger voters and to amplify her message beyond traditional media channels. The comparison to Harris underscores a broader trend in contemporary politics, the increasing importance of charisma and effective communication in an era dominated by social media and 24-7 news cycles. Section 5. Pistorius's Counterpoint a caution against messianic expectations. Defense Minister Boris Pistorius urges caution against messianic expectations in politics. He emphasizes the dangers of focusing too much on charisma over substance. Charisma can overshadow policy expertise and governance complexities. Pistorius highlights the need for collective action and strong institutions. Unrealistic expectations can lead to disillusionment. Effective leadership is about competence, integrity and public service. Section 6. Team versus Individual Contrasting leadership models in Germany and the US the debate surrounding charisma in political leadership, particularly in the context of the SPD's current challenges, highlights a broader discussion about contrasting leadership models, particularly between Germany and the United States. Germany, with its history of consensus-driven politics and its emphasis on coalition building, often prioritizes a more team-oriented approach to leadership. In contrast, the American political system, with its focus on individual personalities and its winner-take-all electoral system, tends to favor a more individualistic leadership model. The German political landscape, shaped by its federal structure and its multi-party system, necessitates a high degree of collaboration and consensus building. Coalition governments are the norm requiring political leaders to navigate complex negotiations, forge compromises, and prioritize collective decision-making. In this environment, a leader's ability to build relationships, foster trust, and work effectively within a team is paramount. Charisma, while still valuable, is often viewed as less critical than other leadership qualities such as competence, experience, and a commitment to consensus building. Section 7. The Future of the SPD. Navigating a path to renewed relevance. The SPD, once dominant in German politics, faces declining support and an identity crisis. Challenges include leadership critiques and connecting with a changing electorate. Its traditional base has eroded due to globalization and demographic shifts. Core values struggle to resonate with voters concerned about immigration and climate change. To regain relevance, the SPD must reinvent itself and inspire new generations. Zay's vision for a revitalized SPD. Julie Zay critiques the SPD's leadership and offers a roadmap for the future, outlining qualities for the next generation of leaders. Zay calls for a leader who bridges traditional values with contemporary concerns, inspiring hope and connecting emotionally with voters. The next SPD leader must understand and commit to social justice, economic equality and international cooperation. These values must resonate with 21st century realities like climate change and globalization. Z envisions a leader who inspires hope and offers a positive future, transcending cynical politics. 
charisma, leadership, and the future of German politics. Julie Zer's critique of the SPD highlights a broader trend shaping politics globally. Rapid technological advancements and social media have made emotional connection with voters crucial. Charisma, when paired with integrity and competence, can be a powerful force for good. Charismatic leaders inspire collective action and mobilize citizens around shared goals.